Well, we saw Inferno as our first map of the day. And uh, obviously Inferno, historically massive favorite in Counter-Strike and personally one of my favorites as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, we've already seen Excel play on Inferno twice so far in this second season of the Gfinity Elite Series. First time round, Excel lost to Endpoint 16-13 and then lost to Prophecy last week, 16-8. to Meanwhile, Reason, we've seen them only once on Inferno and they beat Endpoint 16-14. So given that Endpoint beat Excel on Inferno and Reason then beat Endpoint, you'd expect Reason to be favourites. But as we saw <laughs> in the previous game, Anything can happen at the moment, yeah. Gfinity area. I mean, yeah, absolutely. The thing about this season of Gfinity is it is so, so close. You know, any team can beat any team at any time, mm. uh, apart from some. But, you know, we've seen some incredible stuff, some incredible upsets, some, some crazy, crazy games. So really, it is up in the air. But I think this is one of the one of the matchups that is somewhat more clear cut. Reason Gaming beat Endpoint, one of the top teams, uh, probably the best team in the UK right now. Uh, they were able to beat them with you know, it wasn't it wasn't easy. It was a very very close game. But going up against XL, I feel like this should be more in recent ballpark. They're very very skilled players. They know what they're doing. Like Sponge said, there's experience on Mine. Not named after a bullet. It's actually just his second name. So I'll I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one to the people that know what they're talking about. But you know, it really is so so close. Um, I think we've and got we're going to see. Mind as well that Reason last week defeated. Uh, Epsilon, who obviously, as we know, were defending champions, and we saw how strong they were on train against Inferno in the second game. And at the same time, they actually had Zio as a stand-in. So now that Mine is back and ready to rumble, I do seriously feel like we are going to see uh, the best come out of Reason gaming, especially on a map like Inferno, but we'll have to wait and see. As far as I'm concerned, I saw Excel on Inferno last week. They didn't really impress me, but uh, hopefully they've gone back to the drawing board and they've come back with uh, some improvements. Yeah, the problem Jacob was saying is they're just easy to read. A lot of the time, the enemy teams are reading them very well. So hopefully they've gone away this week. They've thought about it, come up with some new strats, some interesting and intriguing things. And we're going to see that in front of us today. IXL, the UK boys, can they pull off something incredible? We're going to see. Pissed around moving towards that B bomb site. IXL taking it slow, just working their way forward. A little presence over towards eight, maintaining that three man setup. For Reason Gaming, leaving just Mine and Basso. And we know these two players are very, very skilled. Basso is on my fantasy team. So he better come up huge today. I'll tell you that for nothing. Smokes go in, flashes to follow. And now the push will arrive onto the site. Keep themselves alive. It's Basso and Mine playing together. Are they going to expect? Basso doesn't matter. Connor takes them both down. That absolute entry fragger. Going to find himself two quick, easy kills. And now the retake has to come in. Has to KS and Tassis have to come together and overwhelm this B-bomb site. Yeah, Connor slays two defending Reason players in the ruins. And it's going to be t to lead the charge in from Banana. 40-odd frags for him last week. Can he roll back the years? Oh, or roll back the week, rather. He gets two. Looking for a third hunt shot onto Jacob. Can't find it. Jacob and Bosa to try and stop the bomb getting deep used. And they just about managed to do that. Bosa with the kill. Excel with the first round of the game. But for a moment there, I thought that was going to be just a moment of magic from Tesis, but it didn't quite happen in the end. But uh, I think Excel, they took their time. Uh, you know, they stuck together as a unit in terms of taking that B-bomb site and wrapping around ruins together. Connor did really well to get two entry frags. And when you do that, it's such a difficult retake for the counter-terrorists coming from the other bomb site. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that big bomb site is so, so difficult to retake, especially with a man disadvantage. Technical timeout comes in. So angry, they started smashing their own keyboards. Hmm. Um, and in victory, then smashed more keyboards because they were so ec ecstatic. So really... Don't try this at home. Don't be don't, smashing don't keyboards smash at home. keyboards. There's a general rule of thumb. It's, uh, it's not very handy. They're very expensive as well, if it's a decent one. Depends on the keyboard. Really. You can get a Dell one for about a fiver, can't you? But yeah. uh, I'll tell you what, they're reliable. I'll, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Connor, again, this is just insane. He is such a fragger. You know, you send him into a bomb site and he will open it. He is just so, so good at fragging. And when that man is on fire, it's as if there really is a fire under his chair. 
pushing him forward, saying, Connor, go get some frags, buddy. You can do it. Go kill someone. There's Lazar. The uh, not AWPer anymore, now a rifler. Touted to be one of the best riflers in the UK. That's what many say. That's what uh, Ross Rooney says. That's what uh, Imi says. What do you say? Best I say he's a very, very talented player. Young chap. Yeah, yeah, very, very talented. Um, uh, used to be a fan of him back when, you know, he used to or predominantly, but obviously I've seen him rifle as well, and like you say, he is a uh, a very skilled upcoming talent. And you know, you were talking earlier on about re re reliable keyboards. Yeah. You know who sell reliable keyboards? No, but you're going to tell me. Omen by HP, one of our sponsors of the Elite Series. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So very if you're looking for reliable, reliable keyboard, keyboards. Make sure you hit up Omen by HP for that reliable keyboard you've been looking for. Well, they sell headsets as well. Headsets. Awesome computer builds. What else? Yeah, they've got a really cool computer, actually. It's like a cube. <gasps> yeah, yeah. It's, really? It's pretty cool. Is it a good computer? Oh, very good computer. Must be. Yeah, obviously you can get it. Like You can customise the specs and yeah. so on. And I bet it's a great price, too. It is, yeah. So I've heard. Yeah, I don't know the prices off the top of my head. Uh, off the top of my head? I only have one head. I don't know well, why I said Well, if you did know the prices, they'd blow your mind because they're so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reason Gaming. Off to a difficult start, perhaps. But, uh, I mean, if it's anything Still a like last game, if it's anything like last game, we are in for a absolute a slobber knocker. Uh, well, which given, hasn't been said for a while. Given what I remember from Inferno last week, Excel uh, excelled at their pistol rounds. Uh, most of their rounds actually came as a result of the pistol rounds. It was the gun rounds where they really struggled. So, given that Excel capitalized on the next two rounds, um, Obviously, it's still very, very early to jump to conclusions. And, um, uh, yeah, submachine guns coming out. One Galil and one AK, unsurprisingly, for the Irishman in Connor, ex-Irish international. That's how good he is. He's represented his country at an international level in Counter-Strike. You know, that's, not, that's not a small feat. You're saying he's got small feet? <laughs> I don't yeah. think that's relevant, my friend. I don't think that's relevant at all. Uh, let's let's keep okay. the counter strike for now, young man. Looks like another B hit. You were the coming. one talking about big shoes to fill earlier on. Huh? You know what I say about big shoes? Forget it. Big feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moving towards that B bomb site once again. Reason Gaming gonna have to put those pistols to work. Yeah, there's some little bit of armor to play with. There is the odd deagle here and there, and you know what a deagle can do when you give it a little bit of space. There's three players waiting. Basso. We know this man is a monster. Hasten to call him a man. We're going to have to wait and see. Tessis finds himself the opening frag, and now they know the kill is coming in. The attack on the B bomb site is underway. The boost comes in. It's Minet. He's going to miss the first shot, but he will find the follow up. Hesty in the back lines finds one, recovers the weapon. Now going in for more. AK 47 in hand. He's looking. He's finding Jake and finally gets himself a kill, but he's one versus four. He has no chance there. And that is an eco round win coming in. Full reason gaming. Yeah, nice boost coming in, stopping XL making their way towards that B bomb site. One kill onto one of the incoming XL players just near the fountain. And of course, the kill at the back of the site as well as the AK and bomb both dropped. Left XL in a very, very difficult predicament here. Week five, game three between Reason Gaming and XL Esports. As a result of that last round, Excel, they no longer have the rifles and submachine guns they started the last round with. They're now down to pistols for Jacob. It's now reason to get uh, a sniff of some big, bad, tasty weapons whilst Booster fails at boosting himself into... Oh, they don't call him Booster, do they? Yeah, yeah, true, true. It'd be pretty it's embarrassing if it was called Booster. Yeah, or oh, would he just be a Booster as in... He boosts other people or gets boosted himself. Who knows? Not me. Not the pretty standard three man boosts back in CS 1.6. Well, you can do three man boosts in CS Go 0.6. Like three, four man boosts. You can do that. Yeah. If you have the imagination, you can do anything. Just remember that in life. Connor trying to open this one up. It's not working out for him. We know the man is a monster with the eagle, but given no opportunity, there's not a huge amount he can do. The bomb working its way over towards that B bomb site. And Jacob going into the rack with his teammates. Hasty spots him out. Just says, you know what? You want it? Come and get it. Come and bloody get it. Jacob will dash his way through like a dash hound on heat. He moves. Hasty will come in from behind. Hasty like the pasty, but hotter.